I've discovered an AI video editing tool and it has revolutionized this channel. Today, I'm going to demonstrate it. So we're living in this era now where artificial intelligence or AI has completely overtaken all of the tech headlines. I use AI all the time in this business, but I haven't used it for video editing until Alex Gear and Tech, who I interviewed recently on a podcast, which I'll link to above, but until Alex introduced me to something called Gling. And this is a perfect example of how AI should help people like yourself and me. However, it doesn't do the entire job, and it definitely doesn't mean that video editors are a dying breed. That is not the case. I'll explain why later, but first, let me show you Gling. Right, before I show you Gling, just a very quick note on how I normally edit a roll like this. So a roll is basically me talking to the camera, or two cameras potentially. I finish doing all this rambling on, and normally I'll end up with anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes sometimes more of me waffling on. So I take that footage, put it into Final Cut Pro, and then start the process of editing out all the rubbish. So bad takes, silences, coughs, sneezes, instances where I pick up the water and start drinking, all of that stuff needs to go. And generally speaking with YouTube, you have to go from, like I say, 30 to 40 minutes right down to an eight to 10 minute video. As you'd guess, that's quite a big job. It's at least an hour's work each time, and it's fairly laborious. Gling completely changes this forever. And just like every AI tool, Gling is so easy to use. So the first thing you see is this window that says drag and drop here, and it's into there where you put your raw recording. Very, very quickly, Gling analyzes that clip, and it tells me, or confirms, that it's well over 14 minutes long, and and I get a few choices here. So the first thing is I can cut out the silences. So the bits where I stop talking, I'm perhaps you know, messing around looking for the next thing to talk about, it will automatically detect and get rid of those for me. But the other thing it will do, amazingly, is it will get rid of bad takes. And this is really where the AI part of this comes in. So it can work out which is the best take or what, what it thinks is the best take out of several takes that you've made. And yes, I know already this sounds way too good to be true, but you just wait. So I'll leave those two options ticked and in language we can choose the language that we want Gling to use to transcribe the video and that's it really simple what I'm going to do now I'm going to time how long it takes to transcribe and process this video so I've got my stopwatch ready I'm going to click continue and away we go so Gling is now technically watching my video and transcribing it so it's turning my speech into text and while it's doing that it's identifying the silences and cutting them out but also and like I say far more cleverly using AI to work out where I've done multiple takes of the same line and then pick out what it thinks is the best one okay so that's done that took three minutes and 23 seconds seconds to process a 15 minute long 11 gig piece of 4K footage. And the first thing we see is the transcription of the video. Now this isn't completely brand new. There are loads of transcription tools out there that do a very good job. The difference with Gling is that as you can see, it's cut things out for me. So these grayed out pieces of text are basically errors or what Gling thinks to be the worst takes. So if I scroll down here, we can see that I've started this particular one no end of time. So they've clearly, there's clearly, they've clearly, they've, this same line I've been saying again and again and again, and, it, and anyone who's made a YouTube video will know that you do that a lot. You stand here, I've done it on this video already multiple times. You say the same thing again and again because you're not happy with it. What Gling does is get rid of what it thinks are the worst versions. Now it doesn't always get this right, but I'd say nine times out of 10, it's pretty much bang on. But more importantly, it means I don't have to do that really laborious task of removing these bad takes myself. The other thing that you can't see on here that it has done is remove the silences. So I know in this particular recording, there were certain instances where I got up and went to get a drink or there's just long gaps of silence, which again, normally I'd have to watch and get rid of manually. It's done that automatically. So the idea now is that I read through or roughly kind of skim through this transcription and just make sure I'm happy with it. And the brilliant thing about this is that if I'm not happy with something, so for instance, if I don't agree with this particular cut here, I can click that button and it removes the cut. It puts that piece of footage back in. Equally, if I think it should have cut this part here, I click that button there and it cuts that straight away. And you can even do this by sentence, by word. It's, it, it's you can probably see it's starting to get 
pretty crazy. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the finished edit. So I can see the sections it's left in. I can play them back as well. The most of my moans, it's which is great, but equally I can see the sections that Gling has cut out. The proofreading part of this doesn't take very long at all, so once I've spent, let's say, five, ten minutes just double-checking that transcript, I'm ready to put this into Final Cut Pro, and this is where it gets really impressive. So basically, at the top, we go to Export, and Gling is compatible with Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, or you can just basically take the edit it's created and export it straight away to an MP4 video file, or even an audio file if you're doing a podcast. As you can see, it's also compatible with multicam clips, which for someone like me who uses multiple cameras is incredibly useful. For this example, I'll just do a normal single angle export. But basically, if I choose Final Cut Pro, I'll just call it a test, save that to my desktop. Bang, that's exported this edit to an XML file that is compatible with Final Cut Pro. So if I just double click that file, that will throw open Final Cut Pro for me. And once you're in Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere, whatever it is that you use, this is what you see. You basically see that edit that Gling has made. Now again, if you've done any kind of video editing for YouTube, you'll be used to seeing this kind of thing after you've done it yourself. So this for me would have been, like I say, an hour's worth of work. But it's actually taken me about 10 minutes just to get it into Gling, do a very quick check of that transcript, export it to Final Cut Pro, open it in Final Cut Pro, and bang, there it is. When I first saw this, I genuinely couldn't believe it. I've made hundreds and hundreds of videos for YouTube, and I've invested days, weeks, months of my time into editing those videos, and to see a big part of that job just done is mind-blowing. So this is undeniably incredible. It saved me so much time already. However, it's not doing the entire job. And this is the crucial thing to bear in mind with tools like Gling, because you could look at this and think, I'll just get rid of my external video editor, or I'll just save loads of time for myself and do other things. And to a degree, some of that's right. But particularly when it comes to external video editing, these people aren't made redundant because of this software. This gets me about a third of the way. I still need to double check it again just to make sure it flows properly and that the story is correct. But equally, I've got to shoot the B-roll. I've got to put the B-roll on top of this. I've got to polish color grade, do all that stuff. This just means that I can get things done so much quicker at my end, and I can focus on making sure the story is correct, getting more videos done. It gives me back, if you bear in mind, like I say, this saves me about an hour's worth of time per video. If I'm making three videos per week, that's three hours per week. It's well over an entire day's worth of time saved every single month just from me not doing the legwork on this kind of stuff. This is what AI should be doing for us right now. You might be wondering what this all costs, and the good news is it's not very expensive at all. So Gling does offer a completely free trial for anyone. If you decide to use it beyond that, it costs $15 per month, and for that you get 10 hours of footage. However, if you've got a YouTube channel with at least 100 subscribers, you can get a free Gling credit every time you use it. All you do is mention the fact you've used it in the video description. I think that's super smart, and also $15 a month for 10 hours of footage is a lot of time saved. I should also confirm that this video is not sponsored by Gling. I've got no affiliation with them whatsoever. There's no affiliate commission involved. I just think it's a fantastic tool for creators, and I had to share it with you today. Anyway, let me know what you think about this kind of AI video editing in the comments, please. And if you've still got some time, keep watching for a link to another video, which I think you'll find very interesting.